Alright guys, I'm at Capitol Reef for a family reunion with some cousins and stuff and hopefully we're going to be able to catch some lizards and stuff like that, maybe a snake or two. But yeah, we'll see what we can get today. Got some cool little marmots right over here. Dang, it's actually letting me get pretty close. Just down in there now. That's cool. That little guy. I right, saw so with all the cousins on the hike, just right around here. Hey, I'm gonna scare him up to I you. climbed up this ledge and I caught this little lizard. Oh! Yeah, he was right there. There he goes. Alright, guys, so I wasn't able to film me catching it, but I was able to get a sagebrush lizard, as you can see right here. He's actually kind of chubby. These are pretty cool lizards. These are slower than the common lizards and the western whiptails. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so we really get them. The cool thing about these guys is they're bright, like bright blue undersides. And then if we look at this guy, we can also see that he's lost his tail before by some predator or something, because you can see it. he has this pattern that goes along, and then it just turns into a different kind of tail. And then we can look at their the little hands, they have tiny little nails. Yeah, so we got that common lizard earlier, and then we were able to get a little bit cooler type lizard here. So I think we're gonna take some pictures and then we'll let them go in a little bit. Okay guys, so yesterday I got those four lizards and then it's a new day, so this morning I was looking around and I caught this other sagebrush lizard. He's pretty cool. Um, this one, this one you can see, it's also had to regrow its tail before. You can see it has this pattern, and then it just turns into a lot smaller and darker color on the tail there. And then, you can see this, this guy, Sagebrush Lizard. He has the blue on the bottom of him as well. And, yeah, he's pretty cool. We were trying to catch him, me and my cousins, me and Reagan right here. And we were trying to get him yesterday for, like, probably an hour, and we weren't able to get him. He just... Kept going into rocks, but this morning I was able to catch him. So I think we're just going to release him right here. But yes, yeah, cool lizard here. I'll grab him real Alright, maybe he won't let me. Ooh, do you hear that little hiss? Let's see if he'll bite me. <laughs> he, just, he just licked me. <laughs> that felt really weird. Alright, let's let him go. This is a nice. This is a nice looking sagebrush lizard right here. But yeah, so let's just set him. We'll just, he was right over here, so we'll just set him on this rock and see where he wants to go. Got another really cool looking sagebrush lizard. We're just gonna release him now. Cause I've caught many, and I was holding this one for a while, showing it to my cousins and stuff. This is underside. You can see a little bit of blue down there. But yeah, we'll just let him go right there. Yeah, we've caught, I've caught a lot of lizards so far, and I'm hoping I can catch this other kind that we've seen a lot, but they're really fast and hard to catch, so maybe we'll be able to get one of those. We're trying to get another lizard right here. We've been chasing them for a little bit, so we should be able to grab them real easy right here. Oh, God. oh my gosh. There we go. All right, this is this is a pretty common lizard here. But yeah, another cool lizard. And uh, it's getting close to the end of the trip. We're gonna head home soon, so this might be the last lizard, but we might get another one. All right, so those are all the lizards we could caught. We caught a lot of the common lizards, several sagebrush lizards, and yeah, we got a decent amount. And there's gonna be another video coming out soon about uh, me catching a western whiptail lizard, which is a really hard lizard to catch. But yeah, so keep an eye out for that coming, and we'll see you in the next video.